Hey guys, brand new band I've never heard before. The band's name is Within Temptation. Let's listen to this. Here we go. Hello guys, it's Bob. Welcome back once again to Modern Life of the 70s Mind. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. So this is going to be actually my first listen to a band by the name of Within Temptation. They are another Dutch symphonic metal band, although I believe they describe themselves more as dark anthemic music. I have fallen in love with this genre of symphonic metal since being introduced to bands like Nightwish, Blackbriar, Epica, Snow White Blood, all those are just amazing bands. Now, I wasn't 100% sure what anthemic music was, but from what I understand, it can mean sing-along choruses, epic soundtracks, it can be cinematic, or just sounds that kind of arouse our sheer joy in music. So I'm going to be really paying attention to how that plays into their music. With Them, Temptation has been around for a couple of decades now, from what I'm told. And it's they, I think they started in 1995 or 1997, some, somewhere around there. They've released seven studio albums. And the song that we're going to be listening to is off their eighth upcoming album. The lead singer of the band is Sharon Den Adele. And uh, she is also one of the main songwriters of this music. So I can't wait to hear this. It's always fun to hear somebody new. So let me get my headphones on. We're going to be listening to some symphonic metal. Hold on. I'll be right back. Okay, we are back. Selfishly, I really hope these guys are good. <laughs> because, like I said, I'm really starting to enjoy this genre. And if I can tack on another band to my playlist, that would be awesome. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed in this. So again, this is Within Temptation. The name of the song is called Bleed Out, and this is from their upcoming album. At least, if it's already out, I apologize, but from what I read, this is upcoming. So here we go. <laughs> I'm liking the start of it.
Okay, she's going into the chorus there. I, as always, will back it up and we'll go into that again. But we're getting through the song, so I better stop. Very good. This band has been around a while, you can tell, because they are really tight. Um, you're going to laugh at me when I say this, and it wouldn't be probably the first time you've laughed at me for all the stuff I put out here. But do you know what this video immediately reminded me of when I started watching it? And that is Lord of the Rings. In particular, the scenes where, and I don't want to bring out the geek in me because I'm not that geeked out, but a little bit maybe. <laughs> and the scenes where Frodo puts on his ring and he's transported to like these this different world. This video had that same dark, haunting, nightmarish feeling to it. I mean, it really, immediately I thought of that. I'm going to guess these were either AI generated or CGI, whatever they use these days. And no matter how they got there, this definitely created that dark world, which is just so interesting. Now, regarding Sharon, she's got an absolutely wonderful voice, really perfect for this genre. Her haunting, higher register soprano sounds were so pitch perfect on every note that she sang even on the higher notes, which can be quite challenging when you're singing songs like this. But okay, so far so really good. And let me play this to the end. Like I said, I did back it up a bit. Here we go. <laughs> That was really, really good. Did you like that? I thought it was great. You know, I do hear a combination of genres here. And boy, some of these genres, I just don't know. I was actually, not to get too far off track, but I was looking at a list of various genres. There's got to be like 2,000 different ones. And I'm just bit by bit learning a little bit of them and what they're supposed to be sounding like for each one. And some of them are just so minute differences that it's hard to really to classify something. But I do hear a combination here a little bit. I'm hearing obviously like a symphonic metal sound to it, but also like a gothic metal, an industrial, and I'm throwing out the words here, aren't I? <laughs> and at times, I'll get back more to old school. And at times, even a bit of pop and maybe a little alternative in there. Such an interesting combination with their music. I just really like it a lot. And it, I just find it interesting that a band can come out with a song and have so many different feelings to it. And you can tell this band's been around a while. I like these lyrics a lot. And as much as I could tell, I wish there would have been captions, but there weren't. This person seems to be enduring a lot of pain and hardship, at least that's kind of what I'm getting out of it. Yet they seem to be strong 
and up for whatever seems to be thrown their way. And that's a really good message um, for now, for nowadays, because so many challenges are thrown to every one of us. And it's how we handle those challenges is really determines what kind of person we are. I guess it kind of says that we're in control of our own future and even our own destiny. And we need to move past our mistakes and just really embrace this road that we're on. So that's my take out of it. I could be completely wrong. But without the lyrics right in front of me, it's just a little difficult. So let me get my headphones off and I'll be back for final thoughts. Hold on. All right, we are back for final thoughts. And this is the easy part. All the pressure's off now. The reaction's done. I've already made some comments on the video. So now I'm just cruising to the finish line. How have I not heard of this band before? It's clear that this is a genre that was just completely lost to me, I think, prior to doing these reactions. Just so much fun. And yay, Holland, yay, Netherlands, yet another amazing band from this amazing country. Love you, Mom. <laughs> Somehow they've managed to find a unique edge to their music that makes them stand out just a little bit differently from the other similar bands especially the ones from Holland, or at least the ones I mentioned earlier in the video. They're just a little different, which I think is important. I love, love, love Sharon's voice. It's really the backbone, I believe, of this band. And speaking of the band, wow, such a wonderful, tight sound that they have. It's really difficult not to just get sucked into their music right from the start. From Sharon's voice to every single, every single instrument being played, Everything just seemed together perfectly. It's like they belonged. If you <laughs> if you watch Ocean's Eleven at the end, they talk about Camp to Belong. And these people are clearly from Camp to Belong because they really need to be together. Nobody outplays or outsings each other. There's just a unity to it, which is just wonderful to see. I don't think you can truly achieve that type of unity without a band being together for an extended amount of time. It's just perfect. They've grown into a single unit, a single band, and it's really fun to hear. Now that I'm familiar with them, I would love and really appreciate your feedback on what songs from them that I should react to next. What are your one or two favorite songs that really jump out at you when you think of this band? Please let me know that. I would appreciate it. All right, guys, listen, thank you so much for checking out this video, especially making it all the way to the end. I really appreciate that. And like I said earlier, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you would subscribe to my channel, that'd be even better. All right, listen, as I always say, only life is priceless. Please make each and every day count. It's just so important. Peace out, guys. I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.